All right, so what is up guys? In this video, we'll be creating a very simple program in Python, which will help you with inserting your password into different sites. So you will never forget them. And it's kind of like a password reminder. So let's go ahead and test it out. So the first thing we want to do is go to Twitter and we're just gonna type in code palace, if I can even type that. And then we want to go to our program and we're just gonna rerun it. Let's stop and rerun. First, it will give you a list of options and then it will ask you which side would you like to get the password for. And since we want to go to Twitter, we'll just type in Twitter and it will tell us that our password for Twitter has been copied to the clipboard. Now, if we go to Twitter, if we just open that window, we can go ahead and click on paste and you'll see that the password will be pasted in. Now let's do a small hack and let's analyze the elements. And as you can see in the HTML, it has the input set to password. Let's just change that to text and let's close that. Now, when we go back, you'll see that the password will be visible as a text format. And you'll see that my Twitter password has been inserted right there. And this also works for, let's say, Facebook or any site you want in general. It doesn't really matter. It's just a dictionary key that will retrieve the password to the given site. And this can save you a lot of time if you have lots of passwords. Then you can see that at the bottom of the program, after we have copied the password, it will ask us, would you like to get another password? And if we type on yes, it will tell us which site we want to get the password for. And let's go this time, let's get it for Google. And then it will tell us that it has also been copied. And now when we go and paste in the password, you'll see that our new password has been pasted in and this is for Google. So it's a very neat program in that sense. It's very simple and it's definitely good for getting started with Python. Now let's just exit the program. It will say, do you want to get another password? We'll say no this time. And it'll say no problem, see you next time. And with that being said, let's go ahead and create a new project and click on create and we will open it in a new window. All right, so now we have a new project and the first thing we're gonna do in here is delete everything that's inside. And it probably won't look like this for you. You might just have an empty script waiting. So just make sure it's empty so we can start from scratch. And the first thing that we're gonna do is go to the terminal and we're gonna type in pip install and we need to install Piper Clip, which is just a library that allows us to copy and paste text. But uh, as soon as it is done installing that, we can close the terminal and we can get started with importing the new package that we've just installed. So import Piper Clip. And the first thing we're gonna do under here is create a password dictionary. And a dictionary is made for holding key value pairs. And to do that, all we have to do is start by creating a curly bracket and that will define it as a dictionary. So inside here, the first thing we're gonna do is type in Facebook because we want this to be used for our Facebook password, which of course, as everyone knows, is ABC123. Then let's create an Instagram password. So we're just gonna type in Instagram and in the middle, we'll add the colon and then we should type in Instagram underscore password underscore one, two, three. And that will be our dictionary of passwords. And of course you can add whatever kind of passwords you want and whatever kinds of sites you want. Just make sure to list them and just continue adding them here. Anyway, as soon as we've created the dictionary, we want to create a Boolean value, which is gonna be called repeat forever. And we're gonna set that to true. I'll show you later what this does, but for now we just need this. Next, we're gonna go ahead and create a function which will get us the password. And we're just gonna call it get underscore password. And inside here, the first thing we want to do is sort and actually display all of the options we have. So we're gonna type in for site in our password dictionary. We are just going to print the values of this minus sign plus the site that we are looping through. And this will just go ahead and print all of these values here, starting with Facebook and ending with Google. Then right below, we're gonna go ahead and add a try block because inside here, we just want to make sure that the user does not mess anything up. And even if they do, it will not crash the program. So inside here, we're gonna type in site underscore selected. And that's going to equal an input, which will tell the user which site would you like to get the password for with a question mark and a space. And there's one very small detail, which is the lower method, which just makes sure that whatever input the user inserts will be 
cast it to lowercase because of course Python is also very case sensitive, which means Instagram in uppercase letters is not the same as Instagram in lowercase letters. So we need to make sure that if the user decides to type Instagram with random uppercase letters, we want to make sure that the program will still recognize it. So that's why we add the dot lower keyword at the end of this input block. Then we want to go ahead and create another value which is called password selected. And that's going to equal the password dictionary at the index of the site selected, which means if we insert Facebook, it will check what values associated with Facebook and it will give us the password of ABC123. Then we want to call our good program. Then we want to call our good package paperclip or piperclip. And we just want to copy to our clipboard the password that we have selected. So password selected. And then under that, we can go ahead and print. First, we're just gonna create a very long line so we can differentiate what has been copied. Then we can go ahead and print password for, and then we need to add a plus symbol and site selected plus has been copied to your clipboard. Then let's go ahead and take this and paste it right under that as well. Then we can go ahead and get rid of this error at the end by adding the accept block. So inside here we'll type in accept and we will uh, we will print a message that tells the user if they've inserted something funky that they should enter a value that is specified in the list. So we're going to type in please enter a site from the list. And then we're going to ask them to do everything again. So we're just going to call our get password function. And so far, we've just created the function and we have not called it yet. So if we run the program, nothing will happen. And to make sure we get something to appear to the console, we're going to type in get password, which just calls this function for the first time. And then we want to make sure that after this gets executed, the program does not finish abruptly. So to do that, we're gonna create a while loop and we're gonna say while repeat forever is set to true. We're gonna create a value that's called get another password. And to that, we're gonna assign it an input which says, would you like to get another password? And then we're gonna add the yes and the no. And then right under, we're gonna create an if and else block. So it's gonna say if get another password is equal to the Y, which stands for yes, then we will get another password by calling the get password function. Else, we're gonna set repeat forever to false. And we're gonna print to the console a nice message for the user so they don't get upset that says, no problem, see you next time. And that will terminate our program. But uh, if we go ahead and run the program, you'll see that it will ask us which site do we want to get the password for. So inside here, we're just gonna type in Twitter and it'll say the password was copied to our clipboard. So let's go ahead and test that out and paste it. And as you can see, we have our Twitter underscore password underscore one, two, three, just as we have assigned it up here in the Twitter section. And let's go back to our console. And this time let's say yes, cause we want to get another password. This time we are going to get it for Facebook which we know is ABC123. So if we go back to this Twitter login page, we can just go ahead and paste it. And you'll see that we have ABC123 there. So this is a very simple program which will allow you to get the passwords that you most likely have forgotten or have a very hard time remembering. And it will make it very easy for you to remember them. But uh, with that being said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.